Lo que te alcanza para trabajar una semana no come. How easy it is to access this country. はい、皆さん、What's up? Papa s h o t a でございます。現在はですね、アメリカ・テキサス州、メキシコとの国境の町、エルパソというところに来ております。まあ、前回の動画でですね、アメリカで最も貧しい町、エスコバレスでたくさんの人と出会って、まあ、いろんな人にですね、メキシコとアメリカとの国境情勢について聞いたんですけど、まあ、今回はですね、より深く知りたいということで、現役のアメリカの国境保安官とともにですね、現状を見ていきたいなと思います。はい今ねエルパソ歩いてるんですけど皆さんここはもうアメリカではありませんラテンアメリカですいやもう人もそうですし言葉もそうですしもう雰囲気もそうですしまさにラテンアメリカって感じですねまあ皆さんもご存知の通りここアメリカはですね世界で最も移民を受け入れてる国っていうことで今までで約5000万人以上年間約70万人、えー、移民が入ってきてるっていうことで、まあ、その中でもですね合法じゃなくて不法に入ってきてる人たちっていうのは、えー、今までで1600万人と推測されてるみたいでとんでもない量の不法入国者がこのアメリカに入ってきてるということみたいです。で2023年1月はですねもう月間のピークやったみたいでそこではですねメキシコからアメリカに不法入国しようとしてた数が約20万人でそのうち約2万から4万人しか捕まえられてないということでとんでもない量の人が捕まえられずにこのアメリカに不法で入ってきて散らばってるっていうことみたいです。はい皆さんここが噂の不法移民対策の国境の壁でございますいやー4メートル5メートルぐらいあるんですからものすごい高いですまあ聞いた話によると1994年にねこの壁が建て始められて、まあ、トランプさんの時に一気に進んで、まあ、現在アメリカとメキシコの国境約 3000km あると言われてるんですけどその3分の1がこの国境の壁がね引かれてるらしいんですけど、まあ、聞いた話によるとまああんまりこの国境の壁役に立ってないという話も聞きます。まあ、不法入国者はグラインダー持ってきてその壁壁によるみたいなんですけど壁切って入ったりまあ,あのはしご持ってきて飛び越えたりするみたいなんでまあでもね国境警備隊がそのね現場に着くまでの時間稼ぎにはなってるそういう程度みたいなんですけどまあバイデン政権が始まった時はこの国境の壁やめます言うてで現在また新たにやります言うてまあ総建造費約3兆円っていうことでものすごいお金が動いております。まあ、ここがですねあのエルパソで食事提供してくれるとこみたいなんですけどものすごい数の移民の人たち、まあ、いろんな人に、ね、聞いてみたらベネズエラを中心にいろんな中南米の人たちがここまで歩いてやってきてで、まあ、ここにですね食事提供を求めてこうラインに並んでるっていう感じですねいやびっくりしてますこの数うん OK そうでどんでですでどんでベネズエラ OK クワンドベネスタキーおいおいクワントティエンポデスデベネズエラでアキーエメセイメイエメセイメイおおソロカミナンドコモエンレンアセルバパサンドチョパイセイドセルバおおケムレホセンイポルケトゥビエステアキーオーケーイトゥシオンデルパイデノソトロケトゥモイバウロレコルソノアイエトゥヨパラドニーヨモテネモウナウエナリメンタシオンパラエヨオーケーイエセファルモティオデノソトロサリンデネトロパイトゥアシャカロエタウニーオーケーエンティエンドデドンデレスヨベネゼラベネゼラポルケビエネアキーはい。
Well, our job is to enforce criminal laws. That's what the state peace officers do. Immigration is a federal law that's really, uh, it's mandated through Congress. And so Congress has given Border Patrol the authority to enforce uh, you know, the border along with customs and also you know, ICE and other immigrations. Mainly we, we carry stuff, I carry stuff to shoot to shoot, uh, to shoot cars. Shoot we, cars? Yeah, because a lot of times, yep. a lot of times we get a cars that run from us and I like to shoot a gun like this mm -hmm. into the engine block. Engine block, okay. Yeah, so because okay. I can get the car to stop. Okay. Now, on some occasions, you know, if we can get, if it's too fast or if we can't set up, yep. we can shoot from them, we'll shoot a shotgun at them. So that's like, uh, you can shoot long distance or something? Yes. Okay. And then. We'll use a shotgun. Okay. For something like, uh, like, cause I can hold this one-handed okay. out the window. Oh, during the driving. When I'm driving, oh, and wow. I can shoot at the tires. Ah, okay. And so, stop them. Uh, and this shoots a, yeah. this shoots a, a, I shoot buckshot and a slug. I'll okay. shoot a buckshot and then I shoot a slug. And then I shoot a buckshot and then I shoot a slug. And like the slug, hopefully the slug, if we can get, if we can get a tire, we yep. can get a tire or we can get a radiator. You know, we okay. don't not we do not shoot at the people in the car unless they're shooting at us. Yeah, yeah. But we don't shoot at the people in the car. We okay. shoot try to stop the car. That's right. our that's our main goal. We have to carry a gun. I carry a thirty eight super. Well that's me. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's what the cartel carries. Oh yeah. <laughs> thirty eight super, so okay. I carry that. And then we have this is like an old cowboy gun. Wow. But it shoots very well and it shoots a long distance, like three four hundred yards. Okay, what's the situation you do? You use this one? This would be if, like if someone's in barricaded up someplace real far away. Okay. And I have a scope I can mount on it right quick. And then, but it's a, it's a 308. Okay, what's that 308? It shoots a bigger bullet. Ah, I see. So. でね、どうしてそこまでして不法移民を防ぎたいのかっていうのはさまざまな理由があるみたいなんですけど、まあ、不法入国することによって身分がないため人身売買されたり非正規に雇われただ働き同然の扱いを受け、まあ、虐待の原因になったりで不法入国者は低賃金で仕事することによってもともとあったアメリカ人の仕事が奪われアメリカ人の失業率が上がったりあと犯罪者や麻薬販売者の身分がわからないまま入国されることによって治安の悪化。犯罪率の増加、あと文化や風習の違いに起きる、まあ、あの偏見とかあと不法入国者が増えることによって難民者にも被害が出てると。で移民と難民は違う即僕ごちゃっとなってたんですけど移民は高い賃金良い食安定した生活を求め自らの意思でやってくる人たちに対して難民は差別や迫害から逃れるため自分たちの家族を守るため自分の意思には反してやむを得ずやってきてる人たちみたいで、まあ、数多くの移民の人たちが難民を装ってこうアメリカにやってくると、まあ、その理由にアメリカは難民を受け入れていると、まあ、アメリカには難民保護とあと亡命保護っていうのがあるみたいで自分たちの安全を守るために母国を離れ、まあ、母国に帰ることを恐れている人たちが利用できる法的保護みたいで、まあ、その申請にあの認定されればアメリカに無期限で滞在できたりあと労働許可が得れたりグリーンカードが得れたりするみたいなんですけど、まあ、その申請にはものすごい時間がかかるとその理由にまあこれだけの膨大な量、えー、プラス、えー、この人は本当に難民なのかっていうチェックが入ったりであと過去にですね犯罪歴があったりするとその申請ができなかったりということで不法入国に、えー、つながってるみたいです。Landmarks where they can see where they're going. Okay. But if they have a good smuggler who's been that route several times, they can move through the night pretty easy. Okay. So, say nobody can move like one person or like a couple of people? Well, you know, we've caught groups with just two people in them. I mean, a couple of guys, but most of the time it's、uh, they use them coming at 11 or 12, and sometimes even bigger. We've had groups of 100. 皆さんここがアメリカで向こうがメキシコでございますいやこんな簡単になんか街をなんか壁で分けたっていう感じみたいですよね。
でそんな中ですねトランプさんが大統領の時に有名なのがタイトル42タイトル42は伝染病を持つ可能性のある国の人の入国を阻止しますっていうことみたいで、まあ、トランプさんはコロナ禍を利用して不法移民をみんな追い返したと、まあ、それまではタイトル8っていうやつだったみたいなんですけどタイトル8は不法入国者が国境で捕まっても難民申請することによって、まあ、アメリカに釈放されるとほんまやったら、えー、難民申請しに裁判所に行って認定を待たないといけないみたいなんですけどでもほとんどの人がもう国内でも逃げてしまうと。ということで、まあ、それまではですねアメリカに入ってしまえば OK だったみたいなんですけど、まあ、トランプさんが、えー、対策を打って不法移民を追い返したでもその中にはですね難民も混ざってたっていうことで一部の人からはですね非人道的っていう批判を受けたみたいなんですけど、まあ、その後バイデンさんに行ってバイデンさんはタイトル42反対プラスパンデミックも終わったっていうことで前のタイトル8に戻ったんですけど、まあ、タイトル8にバイデンさんは新たな政策として不法入国した者には難民申請させませんよ不法入国何回も繰り返した者にはもう5年から20年アメリカに入国することできませんプラス刑事責任問わせますよということみたいでそんな中罪のない子どもたちはどうなるのと幼少期に親に連れられて不法入国した子どもたち不法入国者がアメリカで産んだ子どもたち、まあ、これらの罪のない子どもたちはどうなるのということで、まあ、2012年オバマ政権が導入した新たなシステムだかっていうみたいなんですけど、まあ、アメリカには約67万人のドリーマーと呼ばれる移民の子どもたちがいます、まあ、その子どもたちを保護する目的として作られたのがダカっていうみたいなんですけど、まあ、その後トランプ政権に移りトランプさんはそれに反対不法入国者は麻薬、えー、取引人身取引犯罪の引き金になるということで廃止しようとしたみたいなんですけどまたバイデンさんに移りバイデンさんは移民の若い層にチャンスを与えようということで、まあ、現在もねその打開については審議中らしいんですけどいやー複雑な問題ですよこの移民問題、まあ、一部の人ではですねこの移民問題は選挙の道具として使われてるっていう意見もあるみたいなんですけど。And have them come over and just get over on the river on this side、yep. and dial 911. We'd get down there with family groups, women and children, and young men, and we'd just bus them to Alpine, and then they'd have to process them, and then they'd send them wherever they send them right now. Why is it called 911? It's because that, that we'd go pick them up, and they wouldn't have to walk. Okay. So we'd go get them. And they, so that's what you have to do? Yes. Oh my God. They'll dial 911 when they're lost, too, and we'll go try to find them. Okay, and then after you pick them up, where are you gonna take them? Well, if we pick them up, we'll take them straight to the Border Patrol. Okay, Border Patrol.、Okay. Yeah, because they're the ones that would, if they're not citizens, if they're injured real bad, you know, of course, we get them to a hospital, and then we let Border Patrol know that they do have some people in the hospital, and then they'll go down and guard them until they get out. They'll be processed through Border Patrol. Yep. And then, depending on their status, they could be deported immediately or they could be given that, what we call as a ticket to go see an administrative judge later on in the year. And usually, you know, it can be up to 18 months, 20 months before that judge can see them. Most of the people are looking for a better life. Yeah, exactly. A lot of them flee for their safety. You kind of got to feel sorry for them. But on the other hand, they come here and they stress out our. Medical, they stress out our, our tax base. They have a lot of social services they need.、Mm -hmm. And so the American people end up having to pay for that. So, normally, where are they from? Most recently, most of them have been from South America. South America, okay. We still get Mexicans, but a lot of these migrants come from way down South America. You know, we get every, probably every nationality you can think of. You know, but what concerns the whole country is how easy it is to cross. And how easy it is to bring something in that could, that could harm the United States.、Yeah. Mainly terrorists. I mean, they get in, they're in. And they're、yeah. hard to find once they get into the population. Yeah, they're yeah. hard to find. People hate the United States. A lot of those foreign countries just hate the United States. So they come here to destroy your countries? Yeah, some do, you know. And, and that's what scares us more than anything. Yeah. Is that open border. Terrorists that come across, that's what the big scary part is. OK、皆さんやってきたのがここです。OK、That's a Mexico? That's Mexico.、Wow. So、you can see what prevents a terrorist from coming here. 
Wow, that's scary. It is. I mean, yeah. that's how easy. And that's, you can see it's not deep. Yep. It's, you can see the rocks out there. And right now the water's act, we actually have a little water. Sometimes there's hardly any water. So you, you just walk so easy. So how, how do you know like people passing here or stuff like this, there's a camera on the stuff? Well, we have, we have this kind of, what we're watching these areas, you know, but there's a lot of areas just like this mm -hmm. that you can't even get to and that they can cross there, you know, so. Wow. And by the time, it say they cross, yep. by the time we get to where they're at, yep. you know, they're miles and miles inside already. And then you end up having to track them and trying to find where they went, so. Wow. I can't believe that's all these small rivers. It's the borders. That's the border. So tell me like uh, how it's gonna work. Like uh, they pass here and after that, they're gonna just walk. Back off in these mountains, there's some trails. Okay. that go to these little, there's a village up here and okay. they can stage there and then they can walk. A lot of them nowadays are getting picked up because we have cell phone service right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get picked up and they drive them and then they drive them before the checkpoints, okay. they drop them off. Okay. So they get their ride, 70, 80 miles of their ride and then they may have to only walk 20 miles. So who's gonna pick up? Well, they, they hire young men and women and they tell them, look, we'll give you $500. All you got to do is go down there and pick these people up. You so know? who hire, like a uh, coyote? coyote? Well, yeah, the smugglers, the human traffickers. A lot of these people, you know, won't smuggle dope. Oh, that's bad. But they don't see nothing wrong with smuggling humans because they're saving lives. That's what they tell you. Oh, I was saving their life and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So it ends up being their conscience helps them. You know, I guess it's not, it's not drugs. They're not killing Americans, you know, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So why they don't want to stay around here? Because there are so many bodies, border patrol and stuff. Border patrol around in this area and stuff like that. And there's no job. I mean, there's some work, mm -hmm. but not the volume of work they need. Mm -hmm. and, and if they go to Chicago, New York, even Dallas, Fort Worth, mm -hmm. they get involved mm -hmm. in the communities and, you know, nobody pays attention to them. And there's guys that can last without being caught 15, 20 years, you wow. know, get jobs and stay that long. And then one day, have a tail light out and get stopped by a policeman and find out they're not a citizen and then they call border patrol or immigration come get them i mean <laughs> so as long as they don't make any mistakes they can last a long time wow. how many migrants come here for years recently well it just you know it just depends you know some years it's like this year's going to be kind of slow this year probably be around nine thousand you know, in years past, 30, 35, 40,000. But you're not talking about the old U.S. border, right? No, the these whole, areas. no, the border's been run, last month was 185,000. So, and the month before that was 165,000. So we're not slowing it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's getting more. It's like, so you know, America, it's gonna be Latin cultures. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be. Yeah. And once, once that population gets in, and establishes not maybe in mine in your lifetime but establishes uh, voting rights and everything they'll vote their people in the bad guys or whatever yeah it's quite scary things well it is i mean there's a lot of people screaming and talking about it but there's really not anybody doing anything about it our politicians and stuff like that they fight so much mm -hmm. they can't get anything done do you think they just do for the voting the kind of uh, yeah. direction yeah you know, every almost every politician runs on the status of the border. It never changes. Even when President Trump was in there, yep. we still had lots of crossings. What's the scary part is, is what we call the getaways. Okay. How many have got away that we never saw? It, it could be very easy. You know, like me driving down the road, if one's way down there, he sees me coming, he just waits. Mm -hmm. I go by, he crosses. Oh, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not rocket science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But why they don't make the wall, big wall or something around here? Well, for example, this area we're standing in right now, yeah. you'd put a wall, it would have to go, you know, way down here, yeah. but there's no way to maintain it from that side. So they'd bring it in, deny access for us, the Americans and river companies and stuff that operate down here in Terlingua and Studi Butte and Lajitas, uh, access to the water. And that's where they make their money. I see. So, so if they make a wars, they're yeah. gonna lose the jobs. Yeah, it'll it'll cost it'll, be, it'll kill this economy. This particular area needs the manpower. Is what we need. Okay. We need manpower for that. Mainly our border patrol to come down and, and just you know stay down here. 
So, for example, if you put all the way and the walls, mm -hmm. do you think it's gonna work? It's gonna like stop a migrant to come past here? I, it, it won't. It's not a hundred percent. It'll okay. slow it down a so, great deal. But like I say, if you put one from coast to coast, there's gonna be a lot of economies that suffer. でこの地域にはですね数多くの、えー、火薬トンネルナルコトンネルとも呼ばれてるみたいなんですけど地下トンネルが存在するみたいでアメリカは世界一の火薬消費国前の動画でもフェンタイルは中国からメキシコはメキシコからアメリカっていうことでまあ,あのコカとかも世界のコカの 70% は、えー、中南米コロンビアからということでまあ,あの船潜水艦飛行機いろんなね、えー、輸送方法が試行錯誤された中火薬トンネルがまあカルテルにとっては一番都合がいいということでアメリカとメキシコの国境には現在約200本以上の、まあ、トンネルがあるとも言われてるみたいですいやほんでねそのねトンネルの出入り口がですねレストランの中とか人の家の中らしいですすごくないですかそうスマグリングさんでイリーガルマイグランツオールディスカイドシンスイツカルテルスインボールおやインファクトウォンアースマグリングウェンダウンアカルテルは私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。それは、私たちのフェイスブックページで見たことがあります。The American side. But oh, yeah, they have probably. Oh, yeah? They got lots of money, you know. <laughs> but they, what they own the most is the people. And you know, some of them got so much money, they've bought into legitimate businesses in the United States. Really? Yeah, motels and stuff. So last time when I talked to the local people from around here, like, he told me some of the police is owned by Cartel. Is that correct? Yeah, there are places where the cops, and sometimes it's voluntarily. Yep. Sometimes the cartel will tell them, especially that their families live here, saying, Hey, you're either going to help us or we're going to kill your family. Really? Yeah. That's so, so scary. So, what do you do? You have to just do it、eh? yeah. to protect your family. Yeah. Protect your family. You know? And they're connected all over.、They're, they have people that work in the phone companies, they have people that work in the jails, they have people that work for sheriff's offices, they have people that work for PD. They, have them, they even have them working in the Border Patrol. Yeah, you know. And what they do is they find a young man that they can pretty easily manipulate. He's got no criminal record. His community, they think he's a good guy, and he joins the Border Patrol. And all the time he's getting paid, you know.、So. <laughs> They're getting quite a lot of pay. Yeah. Yeah.、And、so, yeah, they either, they either take the money or they take the lead. And then you got to remember a lot of the Border Patrol around here have family in、yeah. Mexico. Maybe cartels, they take their families. Well,、so、yes, they have pressures. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on those guys. Yeah. はい、皆さん、なんというアメリカの一部なんでしょうか。とある場所では大都会が広がって、とある場所では砂漠の地帯にメキシコとアメリカの国境があって、まあ、国境のエリアによっても全然色とりどりあれみたいで、まあ、この辺はね砂漠と、まあ、山々、崖が多いらしいんですけど、まあ、他のね国境地帯ではまだ全然違ったタイプの国境なんで、なんか国境の。仕事もですねその州州そのエリアエリアによっても全然違うっていう感じなんで、まあ、今回ねシェアしたのはこのアメリカの国境の一部なんで他の国境に行けば全く違うシステムがあったり、えー、ランドスケープ、えー、景色があったり環境があったりするみたいなんでいやーこれアメリカ広すぎるな。Okay, so you told me about there are so many migrants. They are walking to move some cities, right? From the, the, that border. So, this is the middle of nowhere. Sometimes it gets so cold and stuff like this. Have you ever seen some dead bodies or something? Oh, yeah, we have them die all the time on us. There are occasions we find them within, in the summertime, within a few days because of the smell. Okay.、But、sometimes we don't find nothing but bones. What's left, you know? We don't know how long they've been there.、Uh, we keep like their bottom jaws、yep. and we can do some DNA on it. We keep that collected because sometimes, and we notify that, like the Mexican consulate, because there may be people missing their loved ones. Right. And then we can track them. 
but a lot of times there may be somebody from South America and nobody knows who they are. They just they just get buried as unknown. Why do they die? Because of the heat or heat, weather? Heat. Sometimes they fall off these little bluffs and break a leg or just die from the fall. Right. If they break a leg, they're they're usually left. Okay. Because they can't slow the group down. Right. So uh, they'll they'll take their shoes, they'll take everything from them and their money, their water, what water they had, because mm -hmm. they're going to keep their water. And just let them die. They have no heart. So how long do they have to walk in the desert? Well, from if they if they take off from here yep. to there, it's ten to eleven days. Ten to eleven days without waters. Well, if they they carry water, but usually they don't carry enough. But as they walk through the ranches and stuff, yep. there's water for the cows, okay. and they refill their jugs in the creeks. Well, you know, some of those creeks and stuff have bacteria in them. Oh, Sometimes yeah. it gives them stomach problems, you know? Yeah. So. 10 to 11 days. Oh my God. They are tough, eh? Oh, they are tough. Yeah, yeah. they are tough. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 しかも夏なんかやったら120何度120ってこと40度超えてるんちゃうんですかその中を11日間歩いてそらしにも出ますよねはいということで皆さん保安官の朝食っていうことでやってきたのがメキシカゴールドグリルですゴールドっていうのはメキシコで肥満ファットっていうことなんでファットグリルはい、メニューはこんな感じでテキサスなんでものすごいメキシカン料理ですねまだまだメキシカンブリトですチキンブリトですあベーコンかベーコンブリトですでスパイシーツクリスあー Do you think more migrants escape than you catch? Oh yeah Oh yeah? Now they know because I got cameras here because we caught them they tell the other guys don't go here go around here you'll catch two or three groups and then you won't catch them for a long time again. So before like a uh, title 42 and now title 8, it makes such a different thing, so no? No, not I didn't, we didn't see a big change. Not like the news was saying. Mm -hmm. News say it's huge difference. Yeah, we didn't get a big change like they thought. So do you think it's impossible to stop migrants come to the US? Right now it is. Yeah. How much government pay you know, to spend money on that? Even the state now mm -hmm. is spending tons of money to stop it. We're getting the smugglers, and usually they're dumb people, and the guy behind them is the one paying them. He never gets caught. So dumb ass mm -hmm. gets caught driving them to town, and he's the one that gets a felony and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. If he makes it, he made his money. If he didn't, he's cooked, you know. You guys have a huge ram in the U.S. It's just one negative thing, so, right? Because you have a huge goal that, you know, you have to protect, right? And that's all the money that's come from your access and stuff. Yeah. さっき彼とも話してたんですけど、まあ、ニュースで見るようなやつはもうほんまボーリットやみたいな話をしてまして、まあ、あのやっぱ視聴回数とかそういうのを取るためにえっ、ー、と何ていうんですかねえて壁がめちゃめちゃでかいところとかっていうのをこうニュースとかねそういうところで映してるけど実はめちゃめちゃ簡単にクロースイングできるようなところがもうほとんどということみたいですいやリアリティとこうニュースで見る感じ全然違う感じですねびっくりして衝撃を受けてますわはい、ということで皆さん今着いたのがですねミドルムの応援何もないところなんですけどこの前にですね、使われているのでここで僕の入国者によく隔離外として使ってるみたいですそう、so, how, how many times you found the、oh. yeah, people here? We found so much that we ended up putting a bug in here Oh yeah? yeah. <笑>で、彼もですね、あのもし入国者があってなんか銃撃戦になった起用のためにかなり多くの,あの銃弾を持っていってるみたいです恐ろしすぎるやろ So this is a close to Mexican border? Yes Okay 見てくださいこんなでかい崖のこんな洞窟で生活するんですよ23日まあ、何日かわからないですけどであの辺にもですねめちゃめちゃいっぱい小さい洞窟があってあそこにもめちゃくちゃ大きい洞窟があってあの中にも滞在したり、まあ、彼はこの辺でめちゃくちゃたくさんの不法、えー、入国者を捕まえたということなので、えー、ここは彼らにとって隠れ家みたいな感じなところですかね
。すごいな。皆さん考えられますまさにインディアン時代の生活みたいな。この中で火炊いて、寝て、洞窟で。で、この辺にある。えー、動物を捕らえて火使って食べてで水はその辺のね川とかどっかの牧場の水へ散ってきて飲んでみたいなすんごい生活やな皆さん想像しましたこのアメリカとメキシコの国境で起こってるリアルがこんな洞窟でみんな生活しながら日にちを待ってるといやすーごいわうわっそれはね They make a fire here. Oh, yeah, on the top of rock, yeah. Oh, here they make a fire. Let's see. 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 Let's Yeah, here, if you have a drink, if you have a water and some food, you can stay weak. Yeah. Yeah. Here, there is a pot that is here. 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 スペースを管理するのでも不可能やと思うのにその何百倍とあるこのアメリカの国土何百台じゃ済まないですね何千倍ある国土の国境を守らないといけない管理しないといけないっていうのがどれだけ過酷なことなのかってなんか今回一緒に来てみてね思いますねこの問題はなんかもうアメリカンドリームがなくならない限り続けるんじゃないかなと。思いますねなんぼでかい壁引いても絶対にどうにかして手を見つけられて多分ここにやってくると思うんですよねなんかそんな感じがしますなんか今日一緒に彼と一緒に旅してみてだ僕が知ってるのも多分,多分これだけだと思うんですもっともっといろんな複雑な問題とかもあると思うんですよねいや,やっぱり実際来てみないとわからないですねまた。What do you think about your solutions? What, what we should, you know, why you should like, deal with these problems? You know, first of all, I think we ought to have a job, something where these fellas, people can come over from Mexico、yeah. and work over here legally,、mm -hmm. and then they can go home、yeah. on the weekends or their days off, and it doesn't make them feel like criminals and stuff like that. As far as keeping the border secure, it's going to boil down to manpower, possibly, and I know that they will never do it, using the military. But you know, we're so busy in other countries, we don't take care of our own. はい、皆さん今回ね国境を回ってみていろんな人の思いが頭をよぎりましたウェーストバージェニア州の人が国内がこんな状況で失業者まみれなのに他の国支援しとう場合じゃないやろという声そしてベネズエラの難民が1週間働いても一食食べる賃金さえもらえない母国は地獄僕たちにはヘルプが必要という声そしてこんな広大な国境を住民のためアメリカのため、えー、プロテクトする保安官の声そして政治と金いいやー超複雑でございます今回訪れたアメリカの国境はほんの一部でございます皆さんこれからどう転ぶのでしょうかということで動画がええなと思ったらチャンネル登録のほどよろしくお願いしますということで皆さん今回はテキサスの国境沿いからでございますアディオス。